E3 is of course very much the time for announcements and Razer have taken this opportunity to announce a new virtual reality headset for their open source virtual reality platform called OSVR. This particular VR headset will be coming out in July for the price of $399.99. I have a bit of info here on the headset thanks to a press release which reads, quote, the HDK or Hacker Development Kit 2 is equipped with the custom design lenses and an OLED dual display for a total resolution of 2160 by 1200. It also includes IQE or Image Quality Enhancer technology for a reduced screen door effect and is capable of displaying VR experiences at 90 frames per second. The HDK2 hardware specifications are comparable to the best virtual reality headsets available now. Now, this particular headset will be compatible with games, of course, designed for the OSVR platform, but will also work with Steam VR games that are playable with a standard controller, and it is possible that a motion control solution will be released for the platform in the future. Now, Razer also said that the open nature of the platform will allow hardware companies to create and release their own controllers, so it is entirely possible that we'll have compatibility with, say, the Vive's touch controllers or other t touch controllers that are developed by other companies, as this is, of course, open source. Now, the HD so the HDK2 hardware will also feature diopters, which will cover prescriptions from plus 4.5 to minus 2, which means many people who need glasses, such as myself, will actually be able to use the hardware without additional vision correction. So basically, in theory, you'll be able to use just the headset and not have to wear your glasses as well, which sounds pretty damn nice, to be honest. Unless you're really blind like me and it doesn't go far enough to fall down for you. Now they also they already released sorry the first version of the HTK which will remain on sale for two hundred ninety nine dollars ninety nine but the quality of the experience on the screen doesn't actually compare favourably with the Vive or the Rift so the HTK two is an attempt to meet up with the updated quality expectations since the Vive and the Rift released onto the market and it will remain of course an open source solution for fans and of course developers. And given that this headset will support Vive and Rift games that are supported with standard controllers, it actually sounds pretty nice and we, as I said earlier, might even have the Vive controllers supported by this headset or other similar controllers where you can use the motion control and that sort of thing with a particular headset. No mention of any room scale or anything like that though with this one, but this is a much cheaper solution than the Vive, which of course is like $800 rather than the $400 for the OS VR. So if you're into a sort of cheaper solution for VR on PC for the headset itself, this seems like one of the better options and of course remains open source as well, which is always nice. So you have a sort of a more freedom to use the controller that you want and will have, a, in theory, a wider games library as well. So an interesting announcement and a rather crowded market now we're getting with VR, but it is of course early days and we're probably going to be seeing the strong contenders come out on top, which is looking like it's going to be the Vive, but of course PlayStation VR have not come out yet, and then we're going to definitely going to have a market for the cheaper headsets such as this particular one, and of course the Samsung Gear VR as well, which has already been out for some time, so I'm not too worried about that, and the more options available to the consumer, and especially the lower end, the better, as of course one of the main concerns with VR adoption at the moment is the cost of the thing. So there you go, an interesting announcement, of course, we're not done with E3 just yet, we've got Nintendo's conference later on today at 5pm, so do keep your eyes peeled for our thoughts and opinions on that later on today, and I'll see you then. Thank you very much for watching, bye.